If you already have an AMS unit, start by disconnecting and removing the buffer. Disconnect the 6-pin cable from the AMS and the 4-pin cable from the printer. Remove the screws securing the buffer by turning them counterclockwise. To remove the PTFE tubes, press down on the inlet coupler latches and pull the tubes. In order to connect the hub to the printer, insert the tube coming from the printer into the hub and ensure it moves freely. Use the screws to secure and tighten the hub in place. Connect the 4-pin cable, making sure it is in the right orientation. Place the AMS units near the printer. If the original PTFE tube provided with the AMS is not long enough, you can use the tube included in the AMS hub package and cut it to the desired length. Please make sure you use a sharp blade to cut the tube from one side, as using scissors may result in an uneven cross-section. To remove the tubes connected to the AMS units, first remove any spools of filament inside the AMS. At the rear of the AMS, locate the PTFE securing latch and press down on it as shown, then pull the tube out. Insert the new PTFE tube to the AMS and ensure it is secured in place. Insert the PTFE tubes coming from the AMS units into the AMS hub. Use the 6-pin cable to connect the hub and an AMS unit. And use another 6-pin cable to connect one AMS unit to another one. Turn on the machine and start loading the filaments into your AMS units. You can control multiple AMS units on the X1 screen by going into the control menu and then going into the AMS tab. Alternatively, you can also control them by using Bamboo Studio in the device tab. Thank you for choosing Bamboo Lab and happy 3D printing!